all right and we are back again so there's our counting down slowly but surely until this whole quarantine thing is over and we could finally get back out get to bend some parts get back to the normal lives that kind of stuff for everybody is staying safe and we want y'all to keep doing that now today what i'm going to be doing now a couple of people have been asking me to do a basically a how-to video uh so i would do that today i'm going to be taking the vase out of this head and the first thing is obviously you're gonna do today undo the cam caps now what i would say don't take all of them completely out just at least break the bolts because if you just start on doing that could literally just break the cam and you obviously don't want that right, so this as i say would be the head i would be putting on this block so 1800 head on a 1600 block i uh, will be using the my vet pistons in this build my plans for this engine i honestly i'm not sure as yet what i know for sure is that i'm going to be putting this head on this block that the most i know could possibly be going into the lancer i don't know but as i say when i get to that point i will make that decision but as far right now i just want to rebuild it so Frog no jump over at me. As for the Lancer, I will be bringing you some content on that at some point. Um, my problem right now is space. That's the problem right now as the whole up. So I have not done anything as yet with the car. This is something that I want to keep in mind also. Now, all of these are marked. So, see this one marked. I2 let's see if we could get it properly I2 so this come off of this journal All right so you always make sure you put them back to exactly where they come from you don't want to be putting them somewhere that they ain't supposed to be because then the clearances and that kind of thing are going to be different for all of them so put it back there so now this is the exhaust side I don't think I would got to, you know, spell out that, but I for intake, E for exhaust. This is not the correct hammer, but I man, you ain't got horses right go, right? So obviously you don't hit it hard, but get some slight gentle taps to get the cam cap up. Or what you could do is bring the bolts up to the top. And then you rock it from side to side and that will bring it up also this give me a little more problems because you know like at the state i got it in all right so does intake cam but here is where cam sensor goes there's a pickup wheel back here so this is where the sensor goes and every time the cam is turning this sensor then tells the ecu exactly where what position the cam is at at any given point Use some little persuasion here. Slight taps, don't hit it too hard. You don't want to break it. It's just aluminum. I'll break it up a little bit. Alright, that's it there now. There we go. These don't need to be exact places, but when you take something from somewhere, you'll put it back where you get it from regardless of if it is that is needed or not that's just how i just look at things when it comes to engines that way you shouldn't and i stress that highly you shouldn't get no problems when you go back up because you put back whatever where it come from main problem that these engines just have and keep a lot of foolish noise the main man coming to me right now but along the way I more likely are not going to remember the name of them and I would call the correct name at that point 
Now this engine, uh, this, uh, I have no real plans for it right now. But at this point, I am thinking I may probably buy some head studs for it also. Get a port and polish job do. Probably use the same bearings I had used when I had built in my vet. People, if anything, you have plans of using engine parts for anything, please put them up properly. Don't be like me. Now get anything soft. This is a, a cap for a brake cleaner or a cap for a WD-40, anything like that. So what you want to do is put this here by the valve that you want to take out, right? Now you don't want anything too hard or anything like that because when you're taking out the valve, you could end up bending it. Especially this method that you use. So you want something soft that, if anything, it will more so flex or bend. There is a tool that makes life a lot easier when you're doing things like this. But I don't have the tool. So when you ain't got horses, right go. Now stand. Right now I'm using a 12 socket. Let me see how this works. Go ahead, it a little harder than that. But don't overdo it. As I say, you don't want to bend this valve or anything like that. Mm. All right, there we go. So, spring out. Don't do those kind of things and drop things. And again, you put them in an the order so that you know where they come from. You can put them back where they come from. No, I'm missing some things here. I'm seeing them right now. Eventually, I go find them. All right, I see them. So in the meantime, I take out this valve. So this is the first valve on number one cylinder on the intake side. You can see it. Definitely want a clean up, but maybe get to that. I got a little saying here that I go use. Again, when you ain't got horses, right go. This is what I have available right now. So this is what I am going to be using. What I'm going to do. I'm going to drill 16 holes in this. And I will put each valve and spring in the position that it came out along this board like this. All right. All right. So I've got a bigger socket. I can help with the situation a little better. See these here? This is what you call the collet. Sorry, the valve keepers. Everybody will call them something different. Still haven't remembered the name of these yet, but don't go come. You need to come, don't worry about it. Ah, there we go. Get a drill bit roughly the same size of the valve, All right? Ah, that's about right now. The front being ready, cam gears would go. So, you put this so your first valve that you take out. You mark it, you put it, as I say, you put the main along the way. If you try that hole there, you know, that we're talking about. So, right, now number one there, for the intake side. Again, the cap or whatever you use if you ain't got the correct tool and you put it by the valve that you want to take out so that it's sitting on that cap go ahead it like a mind all right call it so so very easy to loss very very easy to loss so it's gotta be very careful with them You see working with me today. Still can't remember the name yet. It could come to me. It could come to me. You see what we're talking about here? Yeah? Like you either brat or bang before you bend a valve. Yeah, another frog. Cool, buddy. We can't here again now. Take the valve, turn it upside down. And that inside there ever so neatly, right? F 
final valve finally i had the same issue with the second last valve on the number four cylinder i don't know probably something stuck in between the valve seat and the head of course with it being sitting down for so long it ain't moving supposed to just be able to push out <laughs> but that ain't happening but no problem i can work with that tap the valve Oh, all of that rust and all kind of thing I got going on there. Yeah. Anyway, so now that is all 16 valves out of this head. Now, as for these, the correct name for them is hydraulic lifters. You know, some things just go to your mind and do not come back right so thanks griff because i could not remember them just now at all i guess ladies soaking oil with these it has got to bleed them i saw some people asking also what are my plans for the lancer well the reason they didn't mention what are my plans because realistically i am not sure what i know for sure is that i would like to restore it that's the number one task and goal at hand with the car more likely than not though i will probably do some tracking with it may probably you know as a review do some sliding boat with it and that kind of stuff drags uh, i don't know i guess that would mainly depend on what engine is in it like a met sport or just to see what happens type situation that it would do drives with it and probably um autocross that's just all thoughts right now as you know nothing is certain at this point in what road they want to go with the car also with these it doesn't matter where these go so that's why you're just dropping them in the bottle these could go anywhere as for this side is disassembled all the valves out as you can see it has some water there so you don't follow well also once everything open back up and it's safe to go wherever however uh, we got this we carry it to the machine shop get this every surface make it look like a head again and put it on on this block i don't know if this pointing at me properly i i have no clue if i in the frame properly or not so until next time i will try my best to bring some content on the gravy drive lancer but as i say space a little limited right now so until then i will try to do a video fully pulling down the car and everything taking out the engine taking out the gearbox interior and showing exactly where all of the horrible spots are at this point and then hopefully off the body where as soon as everything is clear and we could move around as freely as possible so until then thanks for watching